you guys, it's your girl Dre Rose bringing you guys another video. And today we're gonna be doing fajitas de pollo, chicken fajitas with guacamole and sour cream on the side. This is a very quick and easy recipe, perfect for some fire ass tacos on taco night. And y'all know y'all can never go wrong with tacos. Of course, we're going to be doing the healthier version of it. So we are going to be switching up a few things here and there. But it's still going to be that authentic flavor to it. And this recipe is great for your calorie deficit diet, your keto diet. And I am going to be doing this for meal prep. So the amount that I'm using is going to give me about five to six plates. So I am set for the week. I don't got to worry about what the hell I'm going to eat that day. Because I might fuck around and eat damn pizza. So... We're not doing that this year, so <laughs> I haven't had breakfast or dinner. I didn't even have a coffee this morning. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? So, yo girl hungry, so let's get to cooking. Let me show you guys everything you guys will need. All right, guys, so here is the whole little setup and everything that you guys will need. I am going to be using three chicken breasts, four bell peppers, one onion. Uh, for the guacamole, avocado, lime, a tomato, salt, and pepper. And for the tortilla, we are going to be using La Banderita Street Taco Tortillas. Um, these literally have zero carbs and only 20 calories each. So you definitely want to get these instead of eating the regular corn tortillas. And here we have all the spices that you're going to be needing for everything. We have cilantro leaves. Um, you can also use like fresh cilantro, uh, black pepper and some meat seasoning you can also use like chicken seasoning this is for carne but same thing <laughs> some garlic salt paprika and some himalayan salt whatever's in there <laughs> and cooking it with olive oil so let's go ahead and start chopping everything up all right so i already washed my chicken and i rinsed it um, so we're just going to be cutting this in strips, but first you want to just um, cut the fat off of it. All right, so we got our chicken in strips, so let's go ahead and season it. So here is a little bit of cilantro, black pepper, meat seasoning, garlic salt, and paprika. And just give that a good mixture. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of more paprika. Alright, now that's done. And I'm going to put this a little above medium heat. With some olive oil. Just spread it out evenly. So now let this side cook for a few minutes and then you're going to flip it. So while the chicken is done, we're going to go ahead and start cutting our bell peppers. And you want to go ahead and cut these bell peppers in long strips. Thank you. 
so let's go ahead and flip the chicken. Oh yeah, nice and juicy. They're kind of stuck together, but that's fine. We'll let that cook and then we'll separate them. All right, so we have our bell peppers done in strips. So now let's go ahead and cut up some onion. And the onion, you also want to cut it in strips. So just strips like this, and then once you throw them in the pot, they'll separate. Alright, it's been about five minutes. Let's go ahead and move this around. And just separate them a little bit. So the chicken's about done. What you can do is cook the bell pepper and onion separately or you can just throw them in there. And you know what? We don't got that extra time. So we're just going to throw them on top. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit of bell pepper. And Himalayan salt. Now let's move this around. All right, everything's mixed. Leave this on medium heat and let's cover up this baby. And in 10 minutes, we'll come back and check on it. All right, while the bell pepper and onions cook, let's go ahead and get started with our guacamole. So let's chop up our tomato in little cubes. And I did leave some onion strips. I totally forgot to like reserve some for the guacamole. So we're just using these and we're also gonna cut them up in cubes. And we're gonna smash this up so it doesn't matter how you cut it right now. And I'm going to add the ball and just leave it in there. That's supposed to like help the avocado um, not go bad so fast. So I don't even know if that's true or not. But oh yeah, babies. Now you want to cut up a lime and put about half a lime in there. Oh my god, this lime is juicy, so I'm just going to put that much. Now let's go ahead and add some salt. Himalayan salt. some black pepper and let's go ahead and smash this a bit and 
and I like mine's a bit chunky so I'm not gonna like super super smash it um but if you do want it like really smashed um just make sure you do the avocado in another plate and then smash that really really good how about we try it a little bit Mmm. Ah, uh, that was a perfect amount of salt, pepper, and lime. Alright guys, so this is done. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, this is so good. So this is basically how you want your bell peppers and onions to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the fire off and I'm going to go ahead and warm my comal and get my tortillas settled. So I'm going to do two tacos. Oh yeah, babies. All right, so here goes my tacos. And let's go ahead and put everything on it. Some sour cream. A little bit of lime. Some guac. Oh my God, I love me some guac. And I didn't get a chance to do a salsa verde, so I am using this one in a bottle. Oop. Sorry. Salsa is a must. Look how good that looks, guys. Mm, I can't wait. I got my plate right here. Let's get a close-up. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's been a while since I had fajitas. So this is just like cherry on top. Mm. That is the bum diggity. That shit is good as hell. All right, y'all. When y'all do that recipe, y'all make sure y'all invite y'all girl over because I do not want to miss out on these damn tacos. Like. They're so good. Bomb me up. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post Tuesdays and Thursdays. Give your girl a big thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.